Morning everyone, I hope you're all doing well today at the end of another week during this uh, strange season that we're still in. Uh, last week we started looking at the whole subject of weariness and we said that the state of weariness is one that embraces the exhaustion of strength and sometimes patience where maybe we've overdone it and we've not had enough sleep whilst we've been doing this and uh, the end result of that is tired bodies, tired minds and tired souls. Well I was reading a couple of things this week, I was reading about uh, Albert Einstein and uh, I found that he averaged a remarkable 11 hours sleep a night. That truly is remarkable isn't it? I think if I get seven then I feel very refreshed in the morning. If I get eight that's wonderful. How many hours do you reckon you need to feel refreshed the following morning afterwards? The second thing I was reading this week was uh, the consequences of weariness is insomnia and so I was looking at uh, some recent research in the UK that said that over 16 million people, which is not quite a third of our population, but a lot of people are affected one way or the other with a lack of sleep, with insomnia. The research said that 22% struggle to fall asleep on a nightly basis and a further 15% struggle at least once a week. And 67% um, of all the people who were surveyed um, said they had interrupted sleep at some time or another. And 21% slept no more than uh, five hours a night. And uh, the good news is God is aware of this problem and he wants to help us uh, with it. Now, in the animal kingdom, most animals have found a way to rest, but there's one animal that has similar problems with sleeping to humans. And any idea what that might be? Well, it's the sheep. They have trouble sleeping. You see, for them, everything needs to be right. There needs to be no tension. There needs to be no predators. There needs to be uh, no bugs annoying them. And they need their stomachs full as well. Now, obviously, they can't do all of that. And they need a shepherd uh, to help them and to prepare the pasture for them so that they can rest. A shepherd, like it says in Psalm 23, verse 2, which will lead them and will help them to lie down in green pastures. Now, green pastures are not the natural terrain in Judea. If you see a green pasture, you know it's the work of a shepherd. And what the shepherd does there, he clears the rough, rocky land. He gets rid of the bugs that would annoy. He digs out any hazards. He then irrigates the land and he cultivates it. So it's a completely safe place for sheep where they can rest and sleep. And this is exactly what Jesus does for each one of us. He is our shepherd and he helps us. And his offer is to help us in this way. You see, without a shepherd, we can't rest properly either. He's the one, as King David wrote in Psalm 23, verse 2, who makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside the still waters. David is saying here that Jesus allows each of one, one of us to rest in his finished work, in the pasture he has created for our souls. What he's done, he's torn out the condemnation he's torn out the sin and he's replaced it with grace and mercy and he creates a safe place for us where his arms of love wrap around us and ministers his peace and his rest to us and it's his gift to each one of us when paul writes to the Ephesians in Ephesians 2 verse 8 he says it is by it is by grace that you've been saved through faith and this is not from yourself it is the gift of God it's a gift to each one of us Jesus wants us to enjoy that safe pasture where his hand and arms of protection are there for us our shepherd invites us to enjoy this safe place which is full of his mercy, full of his grace, full of his love, and where he will minister 
his peace and his rest to us. And he invites us to that place. Let me encourage you to accept that invitation day by day. Let me encourage you also to listen to a wonderful new worship song, Safe in Your Arms by Josh Baldwin, and I will post the link up for this. And as you reflect on this, as you listen to the worship song, allow the Lord's peace and rest to come and deeply impact you. Allow the Lord to minister these to you. And then I believe as he does that, it will help you sleep at night. You'll be able to put your head on the pillow. The Lord will deal with all those thoughts that flow over. The minister is rest and help you sleep if you're struggling with that. Let's pray together. Lord, I thank you that you are aware that each one of us at times are affected by weariness. Lord, we've discussed today the consequences, or one of the consequences of weariness is insomnia, where our sleep can be interrupted. Lord, I pray for anyone struggling with that, that you administer your peace, you administer your rest. And Lord, as we seek you this week, as we listen to this wonderful worship song, Lord, would you do that for each one of us? You would minister your peace and your rest to us. And Lord, I pray this very week, you would give us long, uninterrupted sleep as a result. In the name of Jesus, we pray these things. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I uh, hope you have a great weekend.